the aftermath of the scene where two Swedish football fans were shot dead in Brussels on Monday evening. Now authorities say a 45-year-old Tunisian gunman suspected of killing them died on Tuesday after being shot by police in a cafe elsewhere in the Belgian city. The man, who was shot in the chest, died in hospital from his wounds, media said. He's suspected of killing two Swedish nationals and wounding a third in the city centre on Monday night. An eyewitness, Sule Main, said he heard one gunshot, then saw the gunman. I saw the assailant enter the building and shoot twice towards the man. The man fell to the ground. I saw him fall because I was just nearby. I could see everything that happened inside. I stayed there. I was frozen. I couldn't move. I'm still shivering because of what happened. The suspect identified himself as a member of Islamic State and claimed responsibility in a video posted online. On Tuesday morning, police were seen removing bags of evidence from the apartment block where the suspect lived. Officials say the suspected attacker unsuccessfully sought asylum in Belgium in November 2019 and that he was known to police in connection with people smuggling. The shooting came at a time of heightened security concerns in some European countries linked to the Israel-Hamas conflict. EU foreign policy chief Joseph Burrell. It only shows that the Europeans, we need to step up our security. The suspect had fled the scene after the shooting on Monday as a football match between Belgium and Sweden was about to start. It triggered a massive manhunt and prompted Belgium to raise its terrorism alert to its highest level.